All right, now to this <clears throat> state of Maine, known as one of the safest states in the entire country, and one of the components of that that could play a big role in keeping Mainers safe is community policing. And now one department is making a real shift toward that model and working to build trust with the folks that they protect and serve. Caroline LaCour is here with more about what is happening in Waterville. Hi, Caroline. Hey, Sharon and Lee. In Waterville, police say they're looking to tap into the community's concerns with this new policing style and are equipping off, equipping off equipping officers with the skill set that they need to do so. And we absolutely need to do that and we need to turn the tide. As a police officer, gaining trust with the community is at times a difficult feat and Waterville Interim Chief William Bonney is looking to switch up the way his officers serve the community to change that. We might think one thing is a problem but in this neighborhood it might be speeders. Community policing is the name and collaboration is the game. So it's really setting down having a conversation and working together to solve these problems. To gear up for success, patrol officers are taking advantage of community policing credits at the University of Maine at Augusta. So community policing is a philosophy. The first in the nation to offer an associate's degree in the topic. Credits span from de-escalation and criminal law to women and gender studies and American history. Director Noel Marsh says the goal of the courses is to build a foundation of understanding for the people police officers serve. So finding ways, strategies, to work together to build relationships of trust and collaboration and cooperation. The goal for Waterville is to have all 24 officers sport that badge on their uniforms, the first department in Maine to do so. It's a great opportunity for my officers to further their education, but at the same time, Again, get on the same page about how we want to serve the community. When all is said and done, Bonnie hopes the certification will also help with recruitment, something police departments across the country have been struggling with. Hearing positive things about your police department in your community, I think that's going to help us bring young people into this profession. The department is also working on hiring a community outreach coordinator who will all be another outlet to help connect folks with services other than the police to provide any specific aid that they need. Carolyn LaCour, News Center, Maine.